Hey, what's up, barbecue lovers? Arnie Tech here, bringing you another pro tip. Last time we asked you guys, what were some of the pro tips that you were interested in? So we're here today to bring you some of that knowledge just for you. Today's pro tip is keep the smoke light. And what does that mean? Why do I say that at the end of every video? One of the things that I notice a lot, even in the competitive barbecue world is People over smoke their meat. It's a big, big drawback. What you want is a natural light kiss of smoke. Remember that it's always about balance. If you have too much smoke, if it's too strong, the smoke will overpower the balance of your barbecue. Whether it's in the backyard, in a catering situation, and especially in a competition setting, people want to taste the meat, not just the smoke. If you're a caterer and you want your barbecue to be loved by everybody you're serving, you don't want to serve them a bunch of smoke with your meat. What you want is a nice balance between your rub, your sauce, and just a little kiss of smoke. They want it to taste good good, not all smoky all the time. I want to taste the smoke, but I don't want to eat the smoke. I just want to taste it. How do you keep the smoke light on your cooker? Well, first of all, you know, every cooker's different. Every situation, every weekend that you're cooking is different. One of the things that I like to do is regulate the amount of air that's going in, regulate the air that's coming out of your smoker. I generally tend to run the exhaust on any cooker that I happen to be using at the time wide open. When I run a stick burner, I actually don't see hardly any smoke at all. It's just super, super light. It's not even blue. Trust me, if you're in a clean fire with real wood you're gonna get smoke on your food you just don't see it as much because it's hot but it's there trust me it's there and it'll put a big old fat pretty smoke ring on your barbecue for sure now one of the things that i do on my hasty bake i always kind of have a pre-measured amount of charcoal and i use wood chunks and sometimes at the very end when i'm finishing my barbecue i'll put very small pieces of wood now the size of the wood chunks determines how much smoke i get on my meat and through the barbecue smoker out the exhaust and how much air i regulate will also determine that as well different situations different settings, different weekends, sometimes require different sizes. So I always kind of look at how much smoke is coming out of the exhaust. If it's a little too dark or a little too much, I will open the inlet a little bit more. Sometimes I'll even crack the door open, hold it for a little while until my smoke cleans up. Once I see that the smoke clears up and the fire's nice and hot, I'll go ahead and close the door again and then I'll watch it again for another few minutes just to make sure I'm not getting too much smoke on my food. If I see that thin blue smoke or almost no smoke at all, I know I'm going to cook some good barbecue and it's gonna taste like barbecue, not like smoke. All right guys, that's pretty much all the pro tip we have for you today. I wanted to go through the keep the smoke light because I've had a few people ask me what it means. Just remember, you want your barbecue to taste like barbecue, not like smoke. But I hope that helped you guys. Remember to like, comment, and share if you like our pro tip. Keep the questions coming. Remember to keep the smoke light, make it work.